There's only one T in Chitlins. Kate, tell me one more time, why do you have a puppet? Because if you develop a love for marionettes, then you'll be a shoe in to write the jingle for Marionette World. Okay, for one, this is not a marionette. I don't want you to get a marionette, but this is not a marionette. Who died and made you Geppetto? Knock it off, bitch. I was told she was a marionette. By who? Sam. Sam, is that your new shrink? I keep telling you, Kate, if they ask you to take your clothes off, they're not a real psychiatrist. Sam, the marionette, the puppet. I prefer film American. Okay, look, first you give me a ridiculously short amount of time to write this jingle for Wolfman Jackson's 50s nostalgia soul food drive-in. A complicated restaurant concept under normal circumstances. If anybody can write a jingle in 24 hours, you can. Sure, if you don't expect me to sleep. You don't look tired to me. But then you want me to, while composing, interact with, and yes, condone this puppet fetish you've recently flittered upon. It's just too much, even for my superhuman tolerance. Look, Mason, I don't like having her around any more than you do. But what am I supposed to do? Frankly, she's driving me crazy. Put her down. Put her down. Yes, take her off your arm and put her in a drawer, or a wood chipper, or a cotton gin or something. Mason, you can't just take a puppet off your arm. Without me, she's dead. It would be murder. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I can't write this jingle. Mason, you're a fantastic songwriter. Thank you. But that's not what I mean. Beyond the inhuman distractions, 50s nostalgia is so 80s. You can tell Wolfman Jackson that no one in their right mind gives a crap about the 50s anymore. Hey! I rest my case. Meow! That's one radioactive rocket, baby! You bought a motorcycle? Yeah, I woke up this morning and felt the call of the open road. Did it come with the helmet? Oh, yeah, but I upgraded the bug visor. Oh. <laughs> Did you get the leather jacket this morning too? Yeah, what, this old thing? What, this old thing? Oh, who are you trying to kid? You think that dumb jacket's gonna get you chicks, don't you? I'm not wearing this stuff for effect, Mason. It's about proper motorcycle safety. Well, that's good, because no woman in her right mind would fall for a cheap leather jacket and a goofy helmet. Hey, Mason. Uh, I came to return the quarter that I borrowed from you. Whatever. Where is he? Where is who? The hot motorcycle guy. It looked like he came in here. Do you know him? I do. And you thought you'd just come over and what exactly? I came here to return your stupid quarter, Mr. I should make you sign a contract when you borrow things from me, Ashley. Where is he? What's that on your face? Where? On your lips and your eyelashes and your eyelids. <laughs> God, you're funny. <sighs> <clears throat> Hi, I'm Ashley. Oh, hey Ash, I didn't hear you come in. Guy? Oh my God, it's like checking out your own brother's ass. Give me back my quarter, Mason. I'm serious, that is my quarter. Ow! Oh, sorry, Ashley. <sighs> That's okay. Nice makeup, where's your tiny car? What rhymes with 50s nostalgia soul food drive-in? Well, aren't you the cutest little puppet in the world? Yes, you are! Don't encourage her. Will you take me for a ride on your motorcycle? What am I doing? I wouldn't mind a ride either. You know, Kate's had her fingers up my ass all day. I guess what I'm asking is, have you ever thought of becoming a Puppeteer. God, I'm disgusted by all of you. Especially you. Get some self-respect. Jennifer, hi. Do, what do I owe this unexpected surprise? Can I get you something? You know, a drink maybe? Some wine? Self-respect? I just stopped by to tell you that they need to fumigate the apartment and you'll have to evacuate for two days. Bye. Oh, uh, thanks, Jennifer. That's good to know. That's good to know. Um, when? Today? What? I knew you'd be upset, because you're agoraphobic and all. Upset? What? No, I'm not upset. You know, just why didn't you tell me this earlier? 
So, can I call you sometime? I don't like confrontation. Guy? Is there something different about you today? About a motorcycle. Well, that would be a fun way to explore Los Angeles. Back off, Morticia. I've got dibs on the first ride. Actually, I do. I'm not talking about the bike. Hey, am I the only one here that thinks that me having to leave my apartment is kind of a crisis? Yes. Maybe if Jennifer had told you sooner. Don't make this about Jennifer. You're the one who's gone temporarily insane. I don't know what you're talking about. You have been acting a little moronic. You're one to talk. What are you implying? You know, Kate, maybe you'd be a little less crazy in the kitchen. Don't push me, Harlan. Ah, oh, oh, you're acting like a tramp. You, you are the one acting like a tramp. Stop you're it. like a puppet. Okay, everyone. Let's calm down. All right. You're so smart. Say it that way. way. Okay, yeah, obviously I'm the only rational person here. And as the only rational person, I'm not going anywhere. They're just gonna have to fumigate around me. Smoke Mason out? That's a bad idea. Set his apartment on fire? That's pretty much the same idea. We could drug him? That's not a bad idea. On the A-team? They always had to slip something into B.A.'s milk to knock him out so they could take him on missions. It wouldn't have to be a dangerous drug or anything. No, no, we're sold. But when he wakes up, he's gonna be pissed. B.A. was always pissed. So we'll just have to keep him unconscious until we can get him back in his apartment. For two days? We'll just have to convince him he hasn't missed two days. We'll turn back all his clocks and calendars. Intercept mailman every week so he doesn't deliver on Mason Sunday. Christmas will be tricky. We can do this. What could go wrong? What are you doing? Cross-stitching a home sweet home sampler with a French knot trim. What's the haps, Daddy? Time's up, Mason. You need to write this jingle. I had to be a roller skating waitress to get you this job. Do you know how many skin, knees, and butt bruises I had to endure for you? You fell down that much. Fell down? Hey, look at that. That's hot, huh? Aw, it's beautiful. Where'd you learn to use your hands like that? Uh, my grandma taught me. That's the sexiest thing I've ever heard. You know, I also have very nimble fingers. Nimble fingers? Your clumsy thumbs and using my tonsils as a punching bag all afternoon! <laughs> Guy, is that your motorcycle parked down at the bottom of the stairs? Good afternoon, Mr. Mason. Here are you. That is not a motorcycle. That's a scooter. A black, not safe for the highway, scooter. I saw it when I came up, Mr. Guy. It's really cool. Here are you, grocery Jennifer! Yeah. Come in here and take a look at Guy's motorcycle. Oh, it's so cute. It's black. It's slimming. You're so smart. Uh, Mr. Mason? No man in their right mind would act this way. Oh, hey, Eric. Hi, Mason. Hi, Guy. It's a nice jacket. You been working out? Kate, we need your help. Hi, Ashley. We have to go. Does something seem a little different to you today? Like, maybe the sun's shining a little brighter or something? Okay, here's the thing. I figured it out. If I finish the jingle, I'll have to leave the apartment. Right. But if I don't finish the jingle, Kate will make me stay here until it's done. So, in order for me to stay in my apartment, I can't finish the jingle. But I'm gonna need your help to give me some advantage. Do you want your groceries now? Go easy on those. They cost me $20 a pill. Your pharmacist charges you $20 a pill? Pharmacist? I wouldn't feed that to my puppet dog. You have a puppet dog? I used to. He was made out of an old comforter. Tragically, he killed himself. That's horrible. Well, I saw it coming. I mean, he was always a little down. Kate, could you and your left hand cut the vaudeville routine and help us out a little here? Oh, just tell him it's buttermilk. That's a good idea. We'll put in some butter extract. Buttermilk is thicker than this. We'll put in some lemon juice. It'll curdle right up. I didn't know you could cook. Oh yeah, I can curdle just about anything. Mason will never drink that. Add some maple syrup. 
and some vanilla extract. Oh, Jennifer, you're gonna have to give it to him. Why me? Because he's in love with so your small town genuineness and would never suspect you. Oh, makes me feel kind of bad for drugging him. But I'll work through it. And why is this going to work? Just trust me. It'll work all right. You look pretty goofy. Yeah, a little bit. You know, I'm actually very relieved that you think so. All right, now stand back and try not to look directly at me for your own safety. Hello, ladies. You know, Kate, I was thinking I'm not going to work on that jingle. You don't mind, do you? Jennifer, I was also thinking I'm not going to leave my apartment today. Oh? No, but it doesn't have to be all bad. And maybe you could drop by later for dinner. Really? Thanks, but they're going to be fumigating tonight and really no one is supposed to be here. Seriously. You won't have time to make dinner anyway since you're going to be working so hard on that jingle. But I did bring you some buttermilk to help get the creative juices flowing. I have buttermilk? It's my special buttermilk I brought from home. Good save. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. That's really very sweet of you. Now I feel guilty! Mm? Finish that jingle! And take that crap off. You look like an idiot. I don't get it. Did your plan work? You did get a nice glass of buttermilk out of it. Alright. Now this can't be right. Oh, I have to know something. Oh god, this is... putrid. It doesn't look so bad. Just go into the kitchen and say hi to the girls. I don't know, I feel kind of stupid. Well, you look kind of stupid, but that's a good thing. It is? I think you look totally cool. You would. All right, go ahead. Oh, come on, you know who's in there. Ashley. I know. So go in there and say hi to Ashley. Yeah, okay. I can do that. What's this supposed to prove? Everything. Hi, Ashley. You do that? I, well, I'm not very flattered, but... I love a man who makes house calls. Do you really have to go so soon? Well, uh, So will you deliver anything? Um, no, no, sorry. He has to be going now. Right now. Hi, Ashley. That puppy should be arrested. <laughs> oh, good. I'm repelling them now. The love of Mason's not going to drink the milk. Can you blame him? Nobody in their right mind would drink that nastiness. Hmm. Oh, this uh, isn't good. Ooh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. You know, you sort of pity that poor fool. Too soon? the weirdest dream. You were there, and you were there, and you were there, and you, you were there. Yes. I... Actually, I feel really good. Like, euphoric. The yellow pill. That's a good one. You're such wonderful people. I'm the luckiest person on Earth. I'm cute to boot. I have to tell Mason what a great friend he is. going to do? If at first you don't succeed. Try to drug him again? Sure. But this time we have to find something Mason will actually put in his mouth. Too, Too easy. easy. Let's give him a minute to finish the jingle and then we can try to sedate him again. Mason's not working on the jingle. What? 
If he gets a jingle, then he'll have to leave the apartment, so uh, no jingle. New plan. Jennifer and I will figure out how to take care of Mason. Got it. You and I are going to get a jingle out of Mason if I have to crack open his skull and suck the song out of his brain with a turkey baster. <gasps> Maybe Sam could help us. Sure. Come on, guy. You're right there. I love that song. How's it coming, Maestro? It's coming. Mm hmm. I know you're not writing. You have one hour to pull something brilliant out of your ass. Ah, uh, you're harsh on my buzz. For what, Kate? What are you gonna do? I'll write the jingle myself. You can do that? Okay, go ahead. It's about time you realized how difficult it was. Fine. Fine. Left hand only, lady. Yeah, that sucked. Write that down. Are you getting it? I'm not sure. I'm not leaving my apartment. No way, no how. You sure? Uh, yeah. In all fairness, if the banana had worked, it would have been brilliant. We overestimated our ability to repeal a banana. Don't you mean unpeel? Repeal would have us peeling it again, wouldn't it? Well, it depends on the context. It doesn't matter. No one in their right mind is going to eat a banana that's been taped together. I'm starting to think there's a bigger flaw in our plan. Ouch! I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. What happened? <gasps> Cotton batting! Hey, guy, why don't you take the ladies for a spin around the block on your motorcycle? Uh, okay. Thanks, but I gotta get ready for the exterminators. Nice try. And I'm not going anywhere until you transcribe that jingle. Hmm. On second thought... I'd be up for a ride. The first ride's mine, Goldilocks! Put a sock in it, Sam. Is that some kind of slur? It's a good way to lose a hand, Missy. All I have to do is bear down. Oh, ladies, please. You'll all get a turn. But I'm first, right? Dream Shed. Don't you know you're my dream Shed. Yes, you're my only dream Shed. Though they say you're not real. But they say you're not real. <laughs> okay. Or stupid freaks. The jingle! I've got to save the jingle!
Hoo hoo freak.